Last time on Axiom Verge, we did a terribly difficult section, Mar Uru. I flailed in nerves and end of the game panic, but we conquered and we got here. My plan is to see if we can exit this area and go back to the map and look for secrets. If we can't get out, if we can't go back, we might try to fight. What is the hole? Finish with same stats? Nice, right on. I, f I feel like I've heard that from a few people. Do we all finish with the same stats? Is that is that just how this works? Items and map, yeah. I'm curious. Or do we just go in and see what happens when we start a file? Does it give you new options for a new file? You just have hard difficulty. Okay, let's see what happens. Um, I was hoping, hoping and wishing that the new controller would be here today. It's not here yet, I'm so sad. Soon though, soon. If not this evening, then tomorrow. Here we go, we're in it. Dance party already. Probably would've, but I got spoiled by YouTube. Oh no! Spoilers! I watched a guided tour of Sudra that I think might be of interest. It was a mixture of speedrunning tech glitches and surprisingly fun exploration. That's awesome! We, we need to watch the documentary too. I need to schedule a time for us to do that if there's anyone else that's interested. We learned so much drone tech last time. And I feel like every time I open this game, I have to do a quick refresher of what all the different buttons do. Drilling things. Address disruptor. All right. So this area, we're gonna have to The eyes be- oh yeah, we have some new BTTVs that I uploaded too. The eyes one is particularly, um, chaotic. Whew. I'm not looking forward to going back through this area. Yes, thank you, Meggie. Exactly. I feel like too with um with the shaky eyes in Discord, I already have a bunch of Discords that have that one. Can we just run? I think it's gonna be easier to get out than it was to get in, right? Oops. But there's gotta be more secrets in that hallway. Documentary is so dope, makes you appreciate Thomas Hap so much more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that's even possible. Any little secrets over here? Stuff that only a drone can fit through? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, is BB already at the door? She's being sneaky. We'll bring her in. Magus, welcome in. How's it going? Ooh, I tried to double dash through that. The controller, I was just saying it was supposed to get here. Today, and it's not here yet. Ooh, we can damage you? Ooh, we kind of want the other egg, though. Oh, no. Okay. That went... All right, I want to know what happens if we fight that boss. Got the office lady look. We're Trace. <laughs> Not office lady, mad scientist. <laughs> uh, and enjoy those hype train emotes if you got them. Thanks everyone. BB was there, but she left. She's busy doing cat things.
You're not wild enough for mad scientist. I tried. You can't see, but I've got a pen in my hair. <laughs> I guess that's office too. It's definitely, we wanna, we wanna keep, um, Keep that egg, that safe spot. I'm not getting iframes when I want them. I'm like getting hit and then iframes and then crossing over. This is supposedly our first secret. Now I feel like today we're gonna have a lot of safe word stuff because I don't wanna spend all of our time on one boss or one area. Uh, so I may have questions about what's worth it and what's not. I feel like there's so much that's worth it. I feel like there's secret areas. I still wanna know if we can, if we can do a new, like a new game plus or something. Or if we need to play the game faster. I feel like if we if we do the speedrun mode, you unlock more stuff. I just don't have the answers I wish I had. this health we have this red coat I want to know what it all means god this was the worst room on Wednesday I'm sure there's a way to not get hit by these things too or I could actually kill them we're adding time to our file too reflector in here and it would be kind of effective. Oh, I... Okay, it's fine. We tried to dash through that last one and then we would have gotten some reflector shots in, hopefully, but let's try it for this one. Because I think when it's facing the wrong way, it's doing that second attack. We need a different weapon, because it's not facing us to use this laser. Oops, wrong button, wrong button. Thy Lord, welcome in. How's it going? It's good to see you. Oop, right away. We're getting pretty close. I wonder if we can just use Kilber there. Oh, here, we wanted to try this. But see, I'm gonna have to aim it. It's not.
I don't know which does more damage, but I feel like because you can press and hold the lightning, that at least you can get it going, like, longer. I wonder that too. Yeah, we talked about that last time, if maybe some weapons do better in certain situations. Axiom's good! We're going back in! We can't stay away from Sudra. That line is perfect. We have to get to the truth of things. I don't know if this boss offers any truth, though. Or if this is just me being petty and wanting to go back for it. our pattern completely. We just don't have quite enough to tank through it. That was the same strategy again. It's easier to do now that you're decked out. I don't know, you're supposed to, well, you're supposed to skip this one. This is like the bonus boss. I gotta try something else. Maybe we can use, maybe we can use one of these fancy ones. Ooh. I swear there's gotta be more secrets in this room too. It's funny that we always start on the wrong side of the room, too. Ah. All right, well, I don't know if we're gonna do this today. When the new controller gets here, we'll do it. there and it didn't go it didn't take oh my goodness there's a funny bug if you enter the room teleporting I think we got uh, some weird like I thought it was controller drift because we kept dashing a bajillion times into the room but maybe that was something different Ooh. We took more hits that time coming down. I don't know that there's something that can work here. We're just gonna come back to this. Hmm. 
Okay, well, let's continue. So do we think we want to use like a map for this maybe? I don't know. I don't know my 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 full I this was like the first thing I wanted to tackle and then I guess I want to see if we can even exit this area at all. Mm. And just a reminder, even though we're going for secrets and everything and we've beat the game, I still don't want like immediate answers to questions. I'm still asking hypothetical questions. I'm still going to try to find as many secrets as I can on my own. Uh and we'll go from there. I feel like we should we should mess with this room a little bit more because we've just absolutely rushed through it every time. This was not the way to do it, so if we if we die we'll we'll come back and do it again. We found one secret in here. So I was kind of thinking, uh, there's probably not more, but been waiting for a safe word. Yeah, thank you. We'll still use the um, the safe word rules, but I I guess I guess in you all of your opinions, do you think we should start out with a map right away, or should we see what we can do on our own before it gets to that point? Yeah, safe word. Is this something over here? No. Okay. But this was the other side of the secret we already got, I think. This looks like something over here, kind of. This room has no music? Apparently not. Oh, like a guide, like a map that has all the stuff marked. Yeah, just choosing where to in- well, I mean more like specific help. But I don't think we want to use something like that yet. We already got this one. Oh, that was cool. It knew that we shouldn't warp into there. Exploration, exactly. As much as I want to get that boss, I think it might have to wait. Ooh. We've been good at identifying points on the map to pursue. Okay, then we'll stick to that. Oops. <laughs> I know, well, and we know the things that are still uncovered. There's plenty of, it, of squares we haven't finished. So we've got a couple places to start. But, um... I also want to just spend some time reading all the notes that we have and figure, like, what... So we have an entire note called... Where is it? Oraka. That's the giant fast travel head, right? And we didn't really do anything in that room. I kept saying, oh, there's probably secrets in Orak the whatever, the fast travel room, but then we never went back. And there's at least one or two items we saw, and then we went, oh, I can't get that, I'll have to come back. There's a wonderful map done out there on the web, each tile represented by pixels and marking where everything is, but I have no idea where I found it and would like not link it if I couldn't find it. Oh yeah, yeah, without permission. That would be something like when I'm ready to completely uncover all the stuff that we would want to explore. Like that. It's right there! What? Somehow there's a new variant on Sudra and he's working for the Rusalki. He's young, more importantly, he has the AD, the Axiom Disruptor. If you can still read this, kill him. He can undo everything we've worked for. I still haven't determined. Been biting my tongue on this, oh no! <laughs> uh, determine where he came from. If there's some alternate passage into the breach, we absolutely must find it. I'm going to make at least two new variants to deal with this. The variants. 
I really like the idea of Araka, such an opportunity to tell both a story while being functional. Oh. Okay, Araka. We, my dearest Araka has become ill. No matter what I dream for her, she remains listless. Please, she is harmless. Move her to a larger chamber. Give her room to stretch. Or if you really wish for her to die, let me kill her properly. So is the larger chamber, that's where she is. They gave her her whole big room to do fast travel with. I can't believe that. This was just sitting here. What's this then? More stuff? Oh. Okay, well, we don't have to kill you. some hidden square somewhere. Maybe up top? Sneaky Friday, Jen. What are you talking about, Hylian? Hi, welcome in. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted. I hope you're having a good one. I feel like there's something right above, like right there. No. That noise is annoying. So we don't have a way to deal with these yet. That I know of. Oh, I've never, um, finished glitching one of these things. I'm having trouble just... Oh, there we go. What? It follows us? Cool. What do we do with this? gun too that's so cool and any blocks I can destroy with this thing hey number welcome in rave bot to go with buddy bot I love this what can I do with this anything Does it like glitch with us? Oh, it hits the switch for us. Oh, oh my God. That is so cool. Oh, but I have to be careful not to use my gun on accident because it'll kill us. Oops, all right, I'm not so good with this. I actually don't think there's anything up there. What are these? We haven't figured these out yet. Ooh! So excited. Reverse slicer? Fun. Looks like there should be something above us. Oh 
Okay. So many weapons. So many. Look at all these things. What do we want to use? We've been messing around with things other than Kilver, if you can believe it. I like the lightning gun. It's pretty handy. This emote, do you like that one? <laughs> we have a boomerang now, yeah. What is... That was weird. I feel like there's gotta be something above here. Also, why is there another one of these red switches? Also, also, we gotta go way back to the start of the game because there's a couple of spots with the four pink gates next to each other. There's gotta be something... It's really hard to beat the lightning shotgun. The killver is so good. Or and the and the lightning gun. Just anything lightning in this game. But I was reading something about the killver, and it's like you can't argue with the weapon that goes through walls. Like, oh hi. Huh, it still hurts us very much. I feel like we should be able to go through here, but not that I can tell. Wait, so, oh wait, hang on. Is this one here to teach us about the other one? Ooh, but we can't get to, okay. Weird. That's so interesting. Interested trying the new randomizer specifically because I might not be able to rely on Kilver. Yeah, they, they they give you an opportunity to try some other weapons. I can't believe we missed this whole area. Alright. We're gonna still continue to go forward and not go to that boss yet. Well, we have to walk past it. We're super low on health, though. I really... Oh, man. I really want to do that boss. God, this room. Can I just glitch, glitch past you all? But there's got to be a secret in here. Let's go get... Let's go to the egg first and then maybe try to... Oh, wow. I'm not going to make it to the egg. Okay, yeah, we are. We're fine. It definitely looks like there should be something to the left of this. Yeah, look it. There's a little thing up there, maybe. Did we mess with this room at all before? I don't think we did. No. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's not it. We have it. I I think the only egg rooms we've seen though, it'll show you that there's a door. Like I don't think it's gonna Well, I don't know. They could do anything they want. And they've shown that. Let's keep going.
So we should have just controlled these the whole time. Oh well. How do you like your eggs? You like your sunny side up? Onion omelet? That sounds very good. How do I like my eggs? I feel like I just love scrambled eggs more than any other way. I like over easy eggs too. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I think we explored this room a bit. I think we killed the... Killed all the enemies to try to see if there was a secret in here. This is gonna be a very long stream if it's just... <coughs> excuse me. Every room, like, going in and saying, okay, can I use a drone here? Can I glitch this wall? Can I drill this wall? There's just so many possibilities. Over here. Oh. But we don't have a a drone to mess with in here. And I don't think you can just spawn them from another room. Is this what some other weapon is for? Does this go through these? Yeah. Oh, you can shoot a bunch of these at once? Does it pick up items for us like Zelda? Oh, I keep pressing. Okay. You don't think you ever figured this one out? Well, that's not encouraging. <laughs> I feel like there's some hidden block or something. There has to be, but I don't know. I wonder if there's a way to get to it from... So, okay. There have to be rooms where it says there's a wall, but there's, but there's not, right? So far they've been pretty good and sneaky about following the map rules. But now I see a room like this and it makes me think there has to be another way in. But maybe not. I don't know. Let's leave a marker, at least. You want to play your cornet? Yeah, do it. It sounds good to me. Okay, secret marker. We're very low on health. Oh, and you're right there next to us. Perfect. <laughs> we like <laughs> died as we killed it. It's fine. Mutually assured destruction, exactly. 
If I can't make it, neither can you. Oops, shit. See, but this room we haven't explored yet. How far... Oh, how far away are we from an egg? Pretty dang far. Leave me alone! Aw. There's no way. How do we mess with these? We usually disrupt them. But I need health before I come back to that room. a boss room. God. Oh, I just wanted to run to the egg. Like, okay, we just gotta go down through here. No, I didn't wanna. Uh. Whatever. We're leaving this room behind, I guess. I don't want to. So, do we think there's fun stuff in here? Oh, can we continue? Okay, good. Wanted to make sure we can get back. I don't think I'm seeing... Like, it's hard to tell which blocks are gonna be blocks that you can destroy or not. Or phase through. I don't think there's anything going on in here. Do I need your help for anything? Oh, you're not- you're not tamed yet. I'm sorry, I needed your help! I feel like we looked around in here a decent amount. These, this thing was so odd. Yeah, tamed that one. Oh, they're dropping health. Good. But is it gonna let us go back down the elevator? Oh shit. Okay, hang on. Damned robots! <laughs> that's right, that's a thing! In one shot. That must be where I got it. All right. You know what else is interesting? You can get the egg, the drone egg to open faster uh, if it hits a wall. I wonder if that's a 
intended strategy for some of these blocks. Because the faster it opens, the faster you can turn back into Trace. Or teleport. You don't turn into Trace. Okay, let's keep it moving. This little alcove looks so important. Oops. I wonder if there's some blocks that only... these enemies can break? No, it's not like put the purple laser on the purple square here. That'd be kind of cool. Oops. Okay, just just go past. No. What's in this room? Anything suspicious? Everything is suspicious. have enough clues to know what these purple things are. Did we try throwing a bomb at it? Hmm. It lets us come back down here. So that's cool. Freedom! <laughs> we get to come out of that area, yeah. See, there's stuff in the room to our right that we haven't done. But I thought it was just because we didn't have enough vertical. But now I just, like, who knows how much vertical there even is or if you're supposed to use the drone for everything. Let's go check it out again. Oh, hi. That's not what I wanted to do. We did this. Can we do something new? Now that Elsa Nova's body is down here? I don't think so. We tried to get into this area. We couldn't before. Yeah, just stopping in to say hello. Hi. Remember when we desperately tried to land on Elsa Nova's head? It didn't work for us. So there's something else that we could do. Well, what about this way? Isn't there a ledge over here? Oh, it's this, this dang ledge. We have to get it from this grapple
You know, you all know how much I love this room. I'm just wondering if this is the only way to get those squares. Is to get up on this side of the room first and then go over to the left, you know what I mean? Oops, I need to stay a drone. Fun parkour room. Yeah, we, we felt so cool doing this room. I thought I was sequence breaking or something. No, they just, they just don't give you any vertical. Super exhausted that stream, ended up falling asleep near the end and actually had a weird dream of the drone trying to land on her head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mom the human, happy Friday, welcome in. Hello, hello. I don't know. How to get this last square. I'm wondering, okay, let's do... Wait, I have a theory. Can you shoot a drone? Okay, the drone's on cooldown. I can't shoot one from up there after just having warped out of being one again. Is there something over there? When I do this, it just looks flat. Do we get it? No. Sad. I think we we have the capability to get it if I do it right. I feel like you have to do just that weird jump. There can't be anything that good over there, right? I always forget that we have to stay a drone for this little corner. Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, because we're going for map too. Map percent. We're not just going for secrets and items. We're trying to fill out all the squares. This room looks suspicious. This little square right above us. Why is that there? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go in the egg. Solid start to the day. We made progress fighting, what is, it? it's the Gertab variant? No, the Gertab hull. The one that's in the elevator that's really, really hard. I feel like we made decent progress against it. We uncovered some map squares. We got a whole nother note and section of that uh, map. Oh, is that the Zeter hull? We have a note about Zeter. Ooh, I can't read notes while I'm a drone. Hang on. Hmm. Okay, let's read. It's early, I think. Yeah, it calls itself Zeter. I don't know how I know this, but I do. Strange that such a thing would have language. Stranger still that it would have a personal identity. I am not sure how long I can last. I lose more and more each passing day. Sound is a deafening throb. Sight is a kaleidoscope fire. Smell and taste open up entire worlds of terror. 
The worst is touch, a tingling, writhing, itching mass. It is expanding, supplanting. There won't be anything to save when it's done. Cedar was the first boss. Cedar Hole is optional boss that will not take you or anyone seriously. Hmm. Okay. These are the things we can't translate yet. The storm. We don't know who Eshin Eshinima is yet. We've never met them. We've only read about them. At least grant us access to your rebirth chambers. Do that, and I will consider being less bitter over what came before. Public notice. It has come to pass that both High Priestess and Nin Aruna have died a plague and have many more of priesthood and nobility. Sudra as a kingdom is no more. Look for us in prisons below Council Rock where the Kaliltu are awakening the old machines. May the gods guide us until distant days. We've read this one, yeah, like a bunch of times. I kept coming back to this one. The High Pri Priestess is Eshinima, yes, from the High Priestess. We have retrieved what remains of your belongings from the silo. The old machines are yours. The clergy await your instructions. You have free reign of either to either redeem or condemn yourselves to choose well. That's Eshinima like preparing to leave, and Eshinima died. The land of civilized kings spoken of with reverence in poem and song alike is often described as our motherland, our birthright, a promised kingdom. It is this one's opinion that the land of civilized kings is none other than Sudra itself in a time of former glory. The old machines, those perennial tokens of bad fortune, were our one-time salvation. The old machines, like the Rusal Rusalki? Rusal How do I say that word? How did we learn to fear such things, human nature? We are trained to expect bad to follow from good like night following day. We have an instinct not to drink too deeply of the sweetest nectars, and sometimes this instinct swings to the other excess. It is time to stop speaking of the land of civilized kings as a long lost dream. It was never lost. It is simply waiting for us to wake up. While we are normally hesitant to recommend any course of action that the Kulultu may have suggested, we have little choice. We are unlikely to survive regardless. Give them what they want. And Ninaruna has also died. Drushka's suspicions were correct. Rebirth logs show a man named Athedos came here once before, possibly thousands of years ago. This is the one we just got. Okay. Wild. Wild! Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, that's where we came from, over to the left. Yeah. Oh, no. That's like another... Yeah, that's where we came from. Sorry. Uh, okay. Keep going, Jed. These ones are easier to manage. I have trouble firing the kill bird just straight down. It would be great if my uh if I could manage yes. that. Yes. 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 Uh Jekoy, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. Not a real name. Well, I tried. <laughs> Hi, happy Friday. I, d I do, I mean... Names on Twitch are hard. We do our best. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, we, we dressed for the occasion. With the lab coat. I didn't paint on sideburns like Trace has, but we tried to go for messy lab hair. It's kind of just wilting and looking less messy the longer we stream. I feel like 
these look breakable, but they're not, so we'll keep moving. Oh, you. We can come through here. That's cool. I didn't even think of that. Dorky Charmander, thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. I want all of these blocks destroyed. For whatever reason. Woohoo, that's why. Oh, hang on. Uh, I can just... Okay, cool. Okay, so... Dang, the map is so sneaky. I should have been paying closer attention. So when we crossed to the right, it went from a wall like this to expanded, right? I missed it. I should have been paying closer attention because you don't know you're going to get a secret until you get a secret. It's a boss in Ninja Gaiden. I added an X because the name was taken. Most of the time people pronounce it like French. Oh. Gotcha. Sneakrits. That's six of six power node fragments. Awesome. That fares well for us. Um, I guess I'd like to know the answer to that map question. So you can say for it if you have an answer to it. Like, it'll show it as a solid wall until we uncover it and then it'll expand it. Is that what happened? It does that every now and again. Okay. So if I see solid walls, doesn't mean there's not an extra bit of the room there. Oops, what am I doing? Also, don't these like spit out health if I glitch them? Yeah. Thanks. You're so kind. I'll take that. What are we going for? See, and we thought we had finished this area. I don't trust any of it now. Mm-mm. I think the next place I want to go, though, is Erebu. This is what we did the other stream. We did like a whole lap around the map in the same order that we started. I feel like we're just gonna do that again. I don't know what some of these markers are. Okay, uh, where are we? Ukina. Sure, let's go down the left side of this room. Look how cool the background looks here. I feel like there's a whole 
underwater section of this map that we haven't found because there's that section, there's like a little puddle somewhere nearby where it has, it gives us a breath meter and you're telling me we never use that? Dr. Jen. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ranks. Welcome in. We're, we're Trace today. We're cosplaying Trace. Sort of a gender-bent version. Uh, safe word for the water thing? Um... I mean... Oh, that was weird. Oh! We've seen, okay, I've seen the screen do that before. It goes fuzzy. But I thought it was because we were getting hit by something that was, I don't know, damaging us. I, okay, I maybe saw it one time and, and had a fleeting like, oh, that's a weird effect. The whole screen, is this what you all were talking about with the, because we have it on low strobe visuals? Or is that something else? Oh, that's cool. Trace turned back this place's artifact. Like some kind of dimensional rift? The CRT effect was previously invisible. I just got it, just now, barely, and now you can see it. Based on the strobe toggle. The strobe toggle is still on. Wild. What if there's something I need in here? No, it is dangerous, flotsam, jetsam caused by breach. Is that radiation or something in here? Well, that's not exactly reassuring. Cool. You're hoping I found one of these? I, uh, may or may not, after we beat the game, have seen a screenshot of that dialogue box. But I didn't know where or how to get it. So I, and, and I knew there were parts of the map we hadn't seen. So that's not a big deal. It was a nod to the hidden worlds in Nestroid. Interesting. Tiger! Oh my gosh! Welcome in, friends! How was the rest of your game today? Thank you so much for the raid. Come on in, everybody. It's good to see you. I hope you had fun. I was able to watch for a while. Um... We're playing Axiom Verge again. I'm dressed as Tr as Trace, a main character. I don't know if you can see the likeness. <laughs> it was so good. Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh, if you all don't know Tiger, please go check her out. Give her a follow. They were doing Everyone is John, which is a role-playing game with a great group of people. It was so funny. You killed it. I was there when you were trying to seduce the, the EMT. <laughs> Uh, beer ice, hi, welcome in. Uh, interrupt us, thank you for the three months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Hi, Mishka, Cryjo, Flower Nerd, so many friends. I'm Jen, if you don't know me, welcome. We play a lot of Metroidvanias over here. We love exploring. We love puzzles. It's good to have you. There are glitches that make the game start interrupting the program code as map data, which generates nonsensical areas like this one in Nestroid. Cool. Drain apps, hi. Y'all were hilarious. It was fun. I know, Bren. It was so good. Teeth cult. Hey, Psychedonian. Welcome in. We, um, we beat Axiom Verge on Wednesday. So if you haven't played this, there are spoilers because we're going back in for secret hunting. Like, sort of glitch hunting, but not really. Um, yeah, it's been a great game. I love, love, love the music. Have been blasting it in my car. Yeah. Interruptus, thank you for gifting us up to Maisie. Oh my goodness. And 
Bren, thank you for gifting us up to Tiger. The alerts can't keep up. Welcome to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badge. Your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Thanks, friends. So much hype today. Um, if y'all don't know, if we could get a shout out for, um, for Tal as well, our friend who was putting together the roleplay game today, and, uh, Maisie's brother. <laughs> and it was just such a fun time to see you all doing that. It's Friday alerts are, are tired, yeah. I don't know if he's still going. He might still be streaming or did a, or figuring out the raids. Sitch. I can grab it too. Do, do, do. There we go. Y'all were crushing it today. This room looks like there should be something in here, or is this so? Are these areas of the map just nods to Nest Nestroid? <laughs> And we're not actually gonna see any stuff in here. Ooh, that was weird. Nobody's ever welcomed me to the human race before. Of course, yeah. Glad to glad to welcome you in. It looks like there should be more to the left. I am asking. Uh, safe word. I'm, I guess, I feel like there should be an item in here the way the dialogue was, but there's stuff in here. Okay. They're randomized with each new file. They're not useless, but not mission critical. Cool. Thank you. Admiral, hi. Welcome in. It's good to see you. We are, oh gosh, a mad scientist today. So this looks like the exit, maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, that looks unfinished. Ooh, that made a weird noise. Oh, I think that was the enemy when it curls up in a ball makes that noise. Can't advise you on what it may be because it's different every playthrough. That's so cool. Mel, hi, welcome in. You're out of the house. How's your excursion going? Happy Friday. Dang, so you all can't help me with these because they're different in every file. I feel like there should definitely be something here. It's raining a lot. Oh no. Did you find a table with an umbrella? Don't you usually sit outside when you go out on your um, Starbucks adventures? You didn't know about these? I had, I had knew there were parts of the map that we hadn't seen, but I didn't know it was like this or that it was unique to your playthrough. That's so cool. A lot of respect to the developer for putting this amount of work into the game. Mm-hmm. Only thing we can say is, unlike the game proper, the map will not lie to you here. Oh, really? Oh, that's helpful. So those are solid walls then. So we should just keep going, because it'll have a big white arrow if it's an exit, right? Maybe? I'm beneath it, but it's still raining. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's a beach level. Oh, scary. Give me your health.
The glitching is so strong here. The visuals are just, woof. What am I even looking at right now? Oh, this is exactly what I was hoping to find today though. I'm glad we did it. At least one of these areas, you know? And now we know better what to look for. Um, yeah. Anything else here? Doesn't this one look suspicious a little bit? No? You just hear me making that dash noise into everything. All right, let's go. If you encounter these early enough, they're a good risk versus reward area. Yeah, because they, they are gotta be uh, really difficult if you get them too early, I can imagine. Oops. Oh, what? There's no platform. We're just floating. We're just glitched. Tell! <laughs> Guys! Thank you so much for the raid. We were speaking your praise before you got here. Welcome in. Thank you so, so much, Jurassic Ghosts. Sekidonian, welcome back again. Prescient, hi. Cryjo, hi again. Mr. Lin, Squire, hi, some familiar friends from Tal's chat. Hi friends, I'm Jen the Human. I have been playing a bunch of Metroidvanias lately. Uh, we're loving Axiom Verge. We're doing some casual cosplay and secret hunting. So glad to have you here. How did everything go? Tiger raided us and said you guys had a lot of fun. I was glad I was able to watch for a bit today. Thanks for all those human hellos and those follows. I appreciate it. It was a blast. Ta, hi. I saw you in Tal's chat earlier. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh. We've got the awesome rave music from this game going as well. Sky Collective, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for cheering for humanity. I appreciate it. It's good to have you here. Such a great night. Much fun had. Emgor, hi. Um, thank you again for those follows. I had a blast in there. Let's get another shout out for Tal. Um, again, they were doing a whole big like role play night with friends, with um, with Tiger, with Ash, with his sister Maisie, who you may or may not know, <laughs> and uh, with with Tox. That was the whole group, right? Who won? Who was John? <laughs> <laughs> This is so great. Only needed a few couple mod actions. Oh my gosh, Wolf. Welcome in. Thanks to the mods. Tox one. Bungzo is Ash, right? DJ Bungzo. Just just a hype a hype crew. Thank you for thanking the mods. It's trying to cover her tracks for not knowing Maisie. <laughs> no, I know her. I know her. I've learned. I haven't, okay, I feel like I should explain this a little bit better. You all can do a better job explaining than me. Pretty good night for mods, nice, good. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, cried you, I'm glad they were well behaved in Tiger Stream too. Awesome. Well, welcome friends. Um, Like I said, we've been doing a lot of Metroidvanias. I know you all were chilling with some everyone is John over there. Um, if you haven't played this game, Highly recommend it. It's a blast. And we're we're going for some post game secrets today. Ooh. From the past. Yeah. From what, five, six years ago? 
Or if you don't want to play this game, listen to the soundtrack when you want to have a dance party. I didn't realize there was going to be a boss room in here, so that's going to be interesting. We saw that red door. That scares me. Oops. And there's secrets up here. This looks like something. Right? No? Maybe not. Doesn't it look like we should be able to stand there? Oh well. Oh, shoot. Nope, oh, that's not the button I wanted. Oh, weird. This area is very broken. Can we get back up if we explore all of this? Do we think there's egg rooms in here? Oh, here's a power up. Health node. I feel like I can barely see the map. It almost looks like we should be able to go to the left there. Oops. Come on. There we go. Oh, I need to, um, not kill this enemy. I remember the glitch places being a lot easier to see with the effects being weird but not so fuzzy. It might be because of the strobe setting. We can try and toggle it. Oh no, we can't in the- in this menu. I think you have to go to the start menu to toggle it. Um, it is very fuzzy. Okay, is this the final exit? Are those all doors going down too? Yeah. This area is huge! And it doesn't have a name or anything. Oh, this is like part of a red tunnel? Oops. Weird. I feel like it just goes on forever. Does it go on forever? Is it just like procedurally generated forever? Aspect of the glitch effect is clipping left and right tiles by one column, a reference NES without when using for areas that could scroll horizontally and vertically. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick up on the references, but I remember reading like, oh, Axiom Verge is such a good nod at for glitch hunters and people who used to like try to break NES games. I think some of the fuzziness is from video compression. As you're running left and right, you can see tiles popping in and out of existence. Oh, gotcha. 
Um, I guess safe word, yeah, is it being generated as we play? It's already in there, right? There's no way that that's part of it. I guess, I don't know. It's finite, okay. massive oh but this loops back around to somewhere we've been already finally oops I I keep trying to like break through walls and stuff but I'm thinking Mostly everything's already broken. Okay, we can keep going up. Oops. No, nope, rip. Okay, so we finished that room. Uh, we want to go up and up and over, and I think that's it. Weird. Why, why, why? Give us health again! Thank you! When everything is broken, Axiom Bird just wants you to know who it is, yeah? Health, please. Okay. Is that the end of this room? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Range. Okay. Now where? It looks like that's it. I'm staring very hard at this. It's a little hard to read these maps. So then if we leave, can we come back? Oh, look how glitchy this is. That is a safe word question. If we leave, does this stay here and we can come back in? Or is it kind of like get it all in one go? I feel like there should be something here. It's permanent? Okay, cool. Depression, take care. Have a good night. We'll see you around. Thanks again, everybody that came in on those raids. I really appreciate it. If you're heading off to get food, sleep, rest, stretch, whatever, um, have a fantastic weekend. Oh, we can't go through that. Okay.
Oh, this is what I was looking for? Well, we're gonna be very low on health. Oh, it's not a... a door. I definitely thought it was a boss room. Okay. Well... Unless there's some way that we have to unlock it. There's one song that does scream 90s to me and it's Space Hogs in the meantime. Oh, that was weird. So where's my exit? Up at the top left. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, we gotta go around to the right to get out, though. So I don't think these have... From what I can tell... They don't have boss rooms or egg rooms. So they're just kind of a standalone extra area. Oops, we got beat up there. Thinking our way back. I feel like, yeah, these are better earlier on then because it was nodes but not a full health pickup. Or a weapon or anything. Oh, that's so unsettling when you glitch back. So now, can I... I need to mark this. That's where... And then the screen's doing its thing. You can see the little visual effect. Uh, here's when it's gone. I don't see it at all. Here it is about halfway. And then fully right there. Now we know what to look for a little bit better. I wonder how many the- oh. Is there a set- safe word, is there a set number of those secret rooms per, like, section of the map? Thanks, Austin. We found a thing. I forget what we were working on at the moment. I think just going back to the fast travel room. There's a set number for the entire game, but not by area. Does it spoil anything for me to know what the set number is? I'm kind of curious. Oh, that wasn't my question, thy lord. <laughs> my question was, does it spoil me to know the number? Not what is the number, but I mean, I don't think it really spoils anything. I wouldn't have asked otherwise. Um, we got this one. We came back here. I feel like... Oh. I feel like every time my brain goes, this is mighty suspicious. It is, indeed, mighty suspicious. But we've done this? No. Considering how hard some of them are to find set per game but not per area. Oh, that's an interesting concept, yeah. You're the number, high number. Entrances can be anywhere. No, it's okay, it's okay, you're good. I know, it was a very ambiguously stated question. I'm sorry, I'm bad at that sometimes. Um, uh, I want to know how many there are per game then. Yeah, you can, a you can answer that safe word. There's no going back. 
Five. Okay, cool. Um... They do such a good job with the map, like... Making you think that that was the floor there, you know? Until we discovered it, we uncovered it. And then they are able to, like, pan down and show you the rest of it. Uh, let's go in this egg room. Author was on the couch for a related GDQ session one year. He loved seeing the game broken. It's a good game to break. It's fun. Sammy, hi, welcome in. Especially the one that originated it, Metroid. Nice. We love Metroidvanias here too. It is a cool game, yeah. Finding some new stuff today. Um, let's take a look at our map. Do we want to go over to the left. Oh, I was saying I wanted to go to Erebu and then I forgot, so let's do that. Gotta look, be on the lookout for those glitches. So wait, we should find that room with water and see if there's a glitch effect there. You can tell he takes the, the speedrunning thing seriously. The only thing that's missing is a movie movie engine for doing tasks. I don't know why that would change speedrunning. I don't know enough about that because I've, I've never done a glitched speedrun. This looks suspicious too. If he wasn't busy with AB2, he'd implement it. Nice. Um, I have played Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's what got me into the genre. Um, we... I hadn't played any Metroidvanias really until Hollow Knight and I was obsessed with it and I'm still kind of obsessed with it. I've done the randomizer, um, is my, my favorite thing about it, I guess, to replay. Like I don't speed run Hollow Knight. I don't do the Pantheons. I haven't even 112%ed it, but I love the game. And uh, yeah, so we did Hollow Knight, loved it, did Ori, and then everyone was like, well, no. Super Metroid happened because I knew I needed to play, you know, the originals, the the what made the genre, and eventually we'll be playing Symphony of the Night uh, as well. Everything changed when the Hollow Knight Nation attacked. <laughs> TAS helps develop speedrun strats. I know what TAS is, but I don't know why having a movie engine would affect using TAS. That's what, that's what I meant. I know what Tass is. Super interesting. The game offers a lot in different ways to experience it. Cool. I'm glad I found your channel. Me too. Thanks for anybody that's here for the first time. Yeah, I'm glad you found us. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more games like this. And we do a lot of... Oh, goodness. Um, retro, too. Like, replaying classics that I never got to play and experiencing them for the first time. We did Chrono Trigger. Our next big RPG planned is Earthbound, so I'm super looking forward to that. All right, let's just keep going. Do you think going from Hollow Knight from the older ones ruined your experience, seem, seeing how Hollow Knight refined a lot of things? No, I don't think so. Um, I I played Super Metroid after, like a, a while after Hollow Knight, and I still loved it. Um, was I spoiled on Hollow Knight controls and stuff? Maybe, but I, I mean, I think when you're going into like an older game, you kind of have a sense of it's gonna be a little different, it's gonna feel a little different. I think um, Metroid Prime was so so hard for me because of the the first person like 3D first person shooter aspect of it more than anything else. I just don't play that type of game uh, enough to be as competent at that compared to Hollow Knight and some other stuff. Wooden, thank you for giving for gifting a sub. 
to Jacoy. I appreciate it. Welcome to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Thank you so much. A movie engine would let you edit frame by frame inputs. Okay, cool. It would help the task. Gotcha. Have you ever heard of the indie game called Outer Wilds, Adstern? <laughs> I feel like that's there's what two genres we're into right now, which is Metroidvanias and like puzzle games. We've been working on Mist on the weekends. It's like a whole separate set of games that we do on Sundays, and we're gonna play. Um, we're working on Mist, and we're gonna play the wit the Witness eventually too. Is the plan? So many things. I'm getting ahead of myself. Gonna put Movie Engine in my game for that reason that Magus mentions and potentially other forms of instrumentation. Being able to, oops, I didn't read quick enough. Uh, being able to connect to the game over a socket or RS-232. Super Metroid controls are rough. It's my favorite game of all time, but one, one has to be honest, yeah. They were all right, I think. I, um, I mean, I struggled with certain parts. I thought wall jump was really cool once once we figured out, once you all told me the, the trick of it, but we got it. I didn't want to not get it at all and have you tell me the inputs before I at least had accomplished it. And then once we had done several of them, we got through the hallway on our own with the Etacoons. Then you all told me the trick and we were like, okay, good to go. Hear you on the puzzle games, Outer Wilds has become an obsession, right? It's, oh, it's so good. You can't stop watching Outer Wilds playthroughs. Metroid Prime doesn't control the same as a traditional FPS. It has tank controls. Yep, yep, we talked about that a bit. Don't know why people say Super Metroid controls are rough. They aren't, like, at all. They're at least functional. I'm lurking, but not paying too much attention because I don't want to spoil the game. What it? <laughs> A lot of people figure out IBJ before wall jump. Interesting. I was not good at IBJ. I was way better at wall jump. Okay. We are... So our main focus is to go back to the upper left-hand corner and see what we can do up there. I still don't know if we're going to be able to open that door. That should be the four pink doors. We haven't gotten it yet. Um... Other than that, we're on the lookout for the the glitch effect to see if there's any any more secret rooms in here. So it could be that I get all five of them in Erebu or or in one section. They could be anywhere. That's so wild. It's gonna take me a minute to get those. So even, oh man, so I don't feel so bad for doing this all the time and like coming up here and checking these. Oh man. It could be anywhere. Oh, I'm definitely playing Metroid Dread, 100%. We picked the perfect time to get into Metroid. Sorry to anybody that's already heard me say that a million times, but um, we're playing Zero Mission next, trying to play Fusion like right up leading into Dread. Not saying Super Metroid controls are bad, but old. Hmm. We're all, yeah, I think everyone here is very stoked about, uh, about Dread. This is all new. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Llama! Hi friends, welcome in. Thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad-free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Happy 14 months, happy Friday. This room, okay. It's over here. <gasps> More water. Is this the water level? Oops. Mm. 
Uh, Respin is controversial. Some people like it, some people hate it. Axiom Verge 2 and Silk Song. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're gonna fit right in here. <laughs> Cesar? No, we can breathe inside of our little bubble. That's interesting. Skeptical about dread, but I won't be a wet blanket or whatever the saying is. I'm glad it brought new people to Metroid. Fair. If dread at least rises to the level of fusion, I'll be satisfied. Oh, thanks, Llama. Yeah, I know. If anybody's coming in and missed the cosplay, it's basically just lab coat and red shirt. And we tried to make my hair messy like Chase, uh, Chase, Traces, but... I only wanted to use so much hairspray. Oh. This is cool. Wait, I have to go back to the... Oh, it's right here. Nice. Fusion's not my favorite, but it... Uh, I think gets a bad rap, especially when other M is a thing. One thing is certain, Samus's animations in Dread are chef's kiss. <laughs> Dressed up today and put two and two together. Oh, thy lord. Yeah, we are, um, we are, we are Trace today. I did a side-by-side -side picture on Twitter for anybody that wants to see the, the resulting selfies. Oh. Oh, there's another door here. There's so much to do. Oops. <laughs> No, Jen. Magus. Magus is <laughs> trying to teach me how to have messier hair for this cosplay. I just don't have the the volume, the depth to my hair that is required. I can only tease it so much. I should have gone more days without shampooing, what can I say? Oh god. Can we tank through this? We're pretty powerful, we're doing alright. I wish that we had converted this enemy right here though. No, my hair is not naturally curly. It's like... Stick straight flat. Pro at having messy hair. <laughs> Another Metroidvania worth checking out is Bloodstained. Have you all played, oh, what is the new one? Elder Lilies, Ender Lilies? Have you seen that? I've thought about checking that out. Playing Samus Returns right now. Nice, nice. Bloodstained's awesome. Chase takes helmet hair to a whole new level. I like Trace's hair. We could have done a wig too, but uh, we didn't. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We only, we only had so much time to prepare for stream and money to spend on costume items that I'll use for one character. Not much you can do with that. I have curly hair and any day I don't put conditioner, it's uncontrollable. Yeah, yeah. If I had curly hair, we'd be a, a hold it'd be a whole different story. Not I played Samus Returns yet. Me neither. Hmm. <laughs> um nope. I guess I'll grapple. We never grapple anymore. Because <laughs> I'm terrible with it. Can we make it from here? Yay! What did you think about Ori? You mentioned you played Blind Forest. I love Ori. I casually speedrun um, Glitchless 
any percent and I really like it. I'm not particularly good at it, but I enjoy it. I think it's such a beautiful game. The movement is so fluid and fun. Um, I loved playing Ori for the first time. We streamed it in like three days and 100 percented it in what felt like, I don't know, so quick. Oh God, we're gonna die. And it was just such a satisfying, like struggled with the controls in the beginning. And then once we got going, it was so satisfying to have those three areas tied up in a bow. It's like this perfect cute little game. I want to do the randomizer for it eventually. Trav, welcome in. Happy Friday. It's good to see you. Thanks for the human hello. All right. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to start over. Oh, nice. Sneaky! I should use that boomerang some more. I think it goes through walls too. Oops. Oh, hello. Okay, well, some things either drillable or glitchable or hmm unless we have to come in from the top or is my next game I'm sold wolf I hope you like it I I'm a big fan it just feels good to play like every time I go back into practice Ori runs and we're not doing <laughs> the hardest glitches or not glitches uh, sequence breaks it's so fun. The movement is is just really, really nice. Oh, thank you, Llama, for that link. Fusion leaves enough mystery behind the character. Lauren, item hunt is good. So far, the most progress we've had, Trav, is um, I think new parts of the map. We've gotten a whole secret area and chunks of the map that I completely missed. Um, I'm kind of starting to piece together the lore a little better in my head, I think. But there's still just many, many unanswered questions. Did we need to glitch those enemies to figure out if there are breakable walls? Mm hmm. Not sure. Fusion's amazing in so many ways, but then has a few things that drive you nuts. <laughs> yeah, don't don't spoil. No, I I feel that we were talking about this game. Like, well, I don't know enough about this game yet to make any to draw any conclusions. But the 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 biggest complaint so far is on first playthrough, first completion. I'm completely unsatisfied by the story conclusion. But then I think it's just it's on purpose because I think it wants you to come back in and, and uncover more stuff is what I'm guessing. This is very unsettling. Why is this like this? Withheld part of the story for sequels. Gotcha. It's still a solid game that every Metroid fan should play. That's pretty fair on the conclusion. Yeah. It was like, we must have missed stuff. But then I did ask uh, yet on Wednesday, safe word, if we missed a translator in this game, and we did. So that, that was encouraging because I was like, wait, we just straight up missed. They don't translate those notes and we can get those translated. I just don't know where to find it yet. When this game came out, people discussed the lore intensely for ages. I'm sure it's perfect for that. It's a lore heavy game for like, it's perfect for theories and trying to piece together who all these people beings are. 
how many different variants there are, who traces, who Athedos is. this little corner here but I feel like it's some secret breakable hidden blocks mm. I think people is a good word well the Rusalki aren't people right Human is a person, but not all persons are human. I like beings. That's fine, too. Okay, safe word. Are we able to get this now? Do we have what we need? I guess I haven't tried this yet. No, okay, we'll come back then. Thank you! <laughs> oh yeah. I wish we could go through that. Don't take away the Rusalki's personhood. I don't know, I thought that was just not generally how the word was used, but you learn something new every day. Oops. Okay, I should probably convert you and get health from you. Let's go swimming! We got the power up over there. Okay, cool. Any being with sapience? What does that mean? I've not heard that before. Sapient aliens. Yeah, I'm gonna be bopping to this music. If you're wondering my frequently played songs on my playlist lately, it's this soundtrack. Although, did we, oh, there's like a, there's a song on the soundtrack, I think that's called Secret Something, and I've not been listening to it yet because I didn't think we had heard it yet in the game. Maybe that's what we heard in the secret area today? I'm not sure. Go with sentient intelligent entities since I'm afraid of making our future AI overlords feel excluded. Fair. That's an all-encompassing, pretty all-encompassing description, I think. One of the tracks is bonus. Oh, it's unused? Oh, okay. So I can listen to it. <laughs> Without spoilers. Oh, I remember you. Soundtrack spin on heavy rotation during this playthrough. Yes. Sapiens is the property of having self-knowledge, interconnectedness, deep understanding of subjective experience. Wild. Oh no! Hello? Oh, fun! I like this area! Bubble wrap! This looks 
suspicious. Oh, you're still on me. There we go. Oh, these are nasty. What can we do, like, ahead of time to take care of you? No, Kilver's better. Never abandon the Kilver. I just wish I could get you from farther away. Whoa. There's just a wheelchair chill. Oh, you can't see it. It's behind my webcam. There's a wheelchair just chilling. And I feel like the music is getting faster. Could be an illusion. Laura chair. Oh, and a note. Faded note. To whomever finds this, Sudra is miraculous. The fact that I've been healed attests to that, but it is too dangerous to bring this technology back to Earth. Whatever happened here was catastrophic, the ramifications extending to everyone. We are going upstream to the filter or whatever lies beyond for answers. Trace. Oh, that's so cool. From the breach to the filter. It's from us. It's from us before we were a Thedos? What's up here? You look suspicious. Wild. Trace was an accident. Yeah. There's- I don't understand- and don't answer this, but I feel like I don't understand just how many traces there are. There's too many of us. Oh, the bubbles make a fun noise. Mystery. Yeah. Something. Man, I better see that glitch effect if it happens again. I'm- I feel like I'm- There's a high chance I miss it. Cause it's just so subtle. It also looks like there should be a room to our right. But I don't know. There doesn't have to be. It looks like there should be. Also, what's this random little piece of grass here? Weird. say from watching you that there are at least two traces. The number may be higher, but it can't be lower. <laughs> Thanks, Magus. Alright, uh, let's go back to the egg. This wasn't even what we came here for. This was such a good discovery. We randomly decided to break that wall up there. Look at all this. What is this? Is it blood? What is this red stuff? Oh, this is where we started the game! Right? Right below that. Oh, that's so interesting. At this point, I'm almost willing to argue that Trace is a state of being. I love it. I wish we could- I feel like there's something above there. Oh well, I'm gonna keep going. Egg! 
Um, you know what? We might take our stream break here. After a brief dance party. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get a snack. Maybe I'll try to re-mess the mad scientist hair. Probably not. Um, and then we're gonna keep, keep doing secret hunting. This is fun. There's so much to go back and look at. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we didn't stay in... Gosh, what is this part of the map called? Mar Uru too long? I want to go back there too, but I think it's more rewarding for us to go to some of the early stages. Especially now we know more of what we're looking for. Alright, thanks friends. I'll, uh, I'll see you when we get back from break. Welcome back, humans. I hope you had a good dance break. I mean break. We had a item upgrade. A movement upgrade while while you were away. We found the trench coat. <laughs> And we tried to go messy, but you just can't see in this lighting and the way the background is. Look. It just, it's so flat. It like wants to come back down and be, and be not messy. <laughs> this is actually a nice jacket and it happened to work perfectly for, uh, for Trace. So let's keep going. <laughs> Thanks for the welcome back. I hope you had a, you had a good break. My hair is too high. No, that's not what I mean. It's like very fine and you can see it with like a white background, but with the backdrop that we have, you really can't see it that good. Acerin. Thanks, Trav. <laughs> All right, let's go to the rest of Erebu. Let's continue what we've been doing with our Kilver, our eggs, our trench coat, and our spirit of adventure. Okay, I didn't even have the Kilver equipped. Not cool, Jen. This room will forever be suspicious. I feel like there's something right above here, too. But I feel like we tried this at one point. Tox, how's it going? Thanks for the hype. I appreciate it. Y'all did incredible today. What a good stream. Oh, I wish I could. No, wait, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna come up here. Yeah. Man, I feel like there's something missing here that I didn't do. I don't know. We'll just have to come back. Yes! 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 Tox, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Glad to have you here. It was pretty darn cool. We are... What about something along this wall? Maybe there's an entrance along here? I just feel like there has to be something over there, but maybe not. Okay, is this what I want to go to? Uh, no. But there could be something at the end of this hallway that we missed before. Did we ever glitch this? What does it turn into? Oh, it spits health out at you too. See, didn't this look suspicious? 
Cosplay is good and natural. I feel like this is the only way to play Axiom Verge from now on with a lab coat. Oh my gosh. This this is such a good accessible cosplay. Like, well, I don't know. I guess I spent I spent the money on the lab coat. Not everybody can get to a uniform supply store and buy a lab coat. But like, you just wear a red shirt and dark jeans and buy a squirt gun and you're good. Mess up your hair. You don't have to have the lab coat. Trace starts out with just the red shirt. All right, I'm not convinced there's something over here. Oh, I didn't look for the glitch effect though. Did we get any odd screen effects over here? No? Something over here. Maybe, maybe not. Red shirt, so that explains why it's so easy to die in the, early in the game. Oh no! <laughs> but you have a red shirt on the whole time. They never upgrade your uniform other than the jacket. This is where I want to be, right? Yeah. This room, I don't know if we're gonna be able to figure it out or not, but we're gonna try. Oh, wait. I just realized I probably need to glitch that enemy. Right? As soon as I, as soon as I did it, I was like, wait, we messed it up. Okay, so if we go all the way back to the egg, Oh, it's so far away now. Do we think that enemy will respawn? Let's try it. Have we glitched one of these before? Do they help us at all? No, it's not like that other enemy. Maybe we get to it from here? There's a gap right there. Are we getting that effect or not? I can't tell. Weird. Here's another random pile of green stuff. What do those mean? I've seen that a couple times. Tal, hi. <laughs> Welcome in. Again. How's your night going? <laughs> oh my goodness. It is so rad. The music of this game. The design, uh, I've been loving Axiom Verge. We're having a blast. We're cosplaying. Decompressing right now? Yeah, I bet. Take care of yourself. Do all the good self-care things. Man, I really wish there was a way. Alright, well, we're gonna keep going. I don't know... Did this respawn yet? I don't think this enemy spawning or not spawning is gonna help us. But maybe it'll reveal something about the room that we didn't see before?
I just feel like we drilled every corner of this room. We used like every little thing, but maybe not. Maybe not. We are, we're achievement hunting. We finished the game with 70% of items and 90% of the map. Well, no, I think it was like 71% and 92, but that's with the boss level, the boss area. So it like goes backwards if you save and then try again. Anyway, yes, <laughs> short answer is yes, we are. <laughs> Gosh, I don't even know what the Steam achievements for this game are like. I'm just going for the in-game achievements. Are there some wild ones for that you all know of? Of um, for Steam, I guess I could look. I really don't want to leave this room behind, but. Wait, should I ask again? Okay, safe word. Can we do this with what we have now? Or is this another one we have to come back to? I'll ask that. I feel I feel okay asking questions like that. Yes, but not from here. Okay. Say no more. Safe word over. <laughs> I feel like that's such a dangerous thing to say though, like not from here, cause then I'm gonna be around here forever. Oh, what's that? Trying to break all the walls. No, I needed like a nudge, yeah. Something. Maybe underneath it? Cause it did feel like there was something, oh, Maybe the the marker we already have connects, except we can we can do it. Hmm. Did we do this yet? The steam achievements uh look like most of what you'd expect, though there's one hidden one. Gotcha. And I think there's a big focus on the speedrunning aspect of this game, right? Which I want to do, I want to try to to get through this game a little quicker and see if that unlocks some stuff that we missed. Um, probably not on stream, but maybe I'll be working on this now. was one for less than four hours and a low item percent. Interesting. Those always baffle me. I feel like, why would I want to play this with less items than I have? But at the same time, we don't use but one beam. I would, I would be sad to lose all of our cool jumps and lab coats and stuff. I would be sad to lose Kilver. Low percent is an exercise in minimalism, yeah. I'm gonna go back over here one more time. That's not what I meant to press. Wait, but did that let us sit up there? Hang on. No? Can we grapple this ceiling? Yeah. Hmm. Imagine Uku laughs at both those achievements. <laughs> 
Did it not look like we were sitting on that ledge for a second? Maybe not. I don't know. Wait, move remind you of Pitfall. That's a game I don't know. Have you all played that? Is it similar? Oh my gosh. All right, well, the beauty of this part of the map. Oh, Sha, hi, welcome in. I was gonna say the beauty of this part of the map is that we know we have to come back here. It's already marked. Sha, how was your stream? Welcome. Anna, hi, Arrow, River. How are things going? Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Raid. Raid bomb hype. We accidentally fired a bomb in game for the raiders. <laughs> uh, door, how's it going? How is carding? How is Mario Kart? Happy Friday. If you don't know me, I'm Jen the Human. I play a bunch of Metroidvanias lately, and uh, we're doing some arts and crafts on stream on Sunday. That's kind of the vibe around here. Arts, crafts, cosplay, Metroidvanias. I don't know. We're having a great Friday night, and it's good to have you here. River, thank you for gifting us up to Shaw. I appreciate it. Shaw, welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing. Oh my gosh. Uh, very hot and sweaty from weather, but also Mario Kart. Oops. <laughs> Hi, Raiders. Welcome. Similar grapple and pitfall. Nice. Chuck, hi. And Arrow, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you for the prime. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Have you come to talk about how cool Jen looks in a trench coat? We're, uh, we're cosplaying Trace, the main character today. Uh, I feel like I should put this just because we've been talking about it, but I posted some side-by-sides that give a better uh, picture of Trace on Twitter because like this is his sprite and it's end game so we have the red coat and I don't have a red coat but before we were wearing the red coat we were wearing a trench coat and before we were wearing the trench coat we were wearing the lab coat which I have over there you can't you can't see it that's just my lamp it's off screen um it's a fun one I miss you too oh my gosh Shaw ah, it's so good to see you um and been good been busy Trying to stay cool yes, also. Yes, yes, I was gonna say the coat looks yes. awesome. Thank you. Um Rabid, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. <laughs> Still don't wanna see spoilies. Of course, yeah, that's true. No spoilies. Um, if you're planning on playing Axiom Verge, which I recommend, if you love Metroidvanias, look away now, because we're secret hunting. We're looking for end, post end game stuff. Been busy, been alive, yeah. Alive is good. Alive is an achievement. Oh, look at us grapple back and forth up there. Wee. Okay, that's fun. How come it let us do that? Normally when we. grapple like that. Oh, nope. Stuck. This dancing. Ugh, jittery. Bit of a struggle, but I'm managing. I feel ya. Sending support. Sending all the good vibes. We're here for you. I hope community and, and card and stuff with friends helps. I know that always helps me. Yeah. Thanks, Shaw. All right, yeah, I think we're gonna leave this behind for now. I don't know that it's this room that we need to figure out or if it's above or below or under it or like, I'm not exactly sure, so. But that part is marked, so we know that we'll have to keep coming back there and trying. Um, and maybe we'll encounter it in one of these rooms up here. We're not sure. Llama, thank you for redeeming human kindness for Shaw and the Raiders, I appreciate it. Sending human kindness from me to you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for sharing your community. It's so good to know you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And uh, I believe in you. You got this. You can do all the things. And I'm proud of you too. 
pushing through when things are hard. It's not easy. Thanks, Llama. I feel like there's got to be something in this room, but... I say that about every room now. I don't trust any of the rooms to not have secrets. All right, so we're gonna go to the far upper right hand corner and then we're gonna go to the fast travel room. I wanna investigate the fast travel room. We won't stop. <laughs> Just all the human kindness. That's a, uh, you know, it's a great day for it. That's what we're here for. Do we think there's something up above here? No, I think we actually did use the drone in this room if I remember correctly. I'm ready to go to a new area and get more dance tracks. Because as much as I like this one, there are so many others as well. Gotta get the variety. At some point, I feel like I'm gonna want to ask... Maybe not on stream today, but I'm gonna have somebody, like, look at the map, and then I'll say, okay, how many did I miss in this, in this area? That's so labor-intensive, though. I feel like... I feel like... I owe it to someone else to make the same map for them in exchange, so maybe we can do a trade-off. Or I guess pay it forward. Oh, did we never do this? No, we did do this. Okay, this isn't the exit. This is just another part of the map. Did we... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Was this one that we figured out and then we couldn't continue past, like... I feel like there were some rooms like that where we... Oh, that was cool. Where we solved them and then we couldn't figure out what was after that. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. That was weird. Also, you know what else I was thinking about this game? Like... It has this, this, this dash, right? It's not really a dash, it's kind of a dash. Do you, do you have things in this game like wave dash? Because I bet there's some really exciting movement that you can do that's like intended but not intended, you know what I mean? I'm wondering if I have to learn stuff like that to get all the secrets. I never learned how to wave dash. I never I never got to that part of Celeste. All right. Fast travel time. Let's go see Oraka. Ooh. Dang. Coming through here and going through like all these walls. It's gonna be a chore. We're doing like little bits of it today to see if we get the visual effect, but I don't know. And they don't, do they have to be on the edges of rooms? I guess that's a safe word question. They're not just going to be in the middle of a room like one of these pillars, right? I don't think that's how it works. Celeste has such fun movement. I'm terrible at the more complicated maneuvers. They're so hard. I don't know how people do it. Not on pillars. Next to an obstacle tall enough for Trace to enter. Okay, cool. That helps. I feel like that's... that's 
important and worth uh worth distinguishing. Well, we just noped right out of that room. Did I want to stay there? Uh Nah. Not really. Oh, it makes bubbles. Oh, the bubbles come back. That's interesting. I feel like with all the other ones, they make those rock bridges and then they disappear. It's kind of neat. Discovery. Did we finish this area? I remember coming through here. Oh. These are hard. These will never not be hard. Oh, but this is where we got... We did finish this, because I think this is where we got... Some important item. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the lightning thing? Because I, for the longest time, thought that was the item you were supposed to use against uh, those purple things. Okay, let's go. watching the speedrun right now and not understanding half of what I'm seeing. I need to watch a speedrun, yeah. There's just a lot to process. Uh, is this where I thought we were gonna come out? No. Eh, it's okay. We can get to Araka from here, right? Oh, this is the spot that looks like water level. Wait, I guess I never did have that question answered. Do I want to know, though, if there's a water level or not? I want to know. There's, like, pockets of water. Okay, this... Does this have a glitch effect near it? No. I thought maybe that was one of the places we had seen it. Whenever I see these, I always think that the other drones are like trying to tell me, oh, if you become a drone here, there's a, there's a secret. Yeah, I guess safe word on the water level. Yeah, because I keep thinking about it. All right, there was going to be, oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I asked. So they had that breathing thing and they just, it's like still a remnant, a trace of it, oh no. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's where the bonus music would have played. Gotcha. It's all coming together. <laughs> we were just here. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. Just wanted to make sure that's where it connected. Oh, uh, cool. We never got up there before. Huh. 
Good to know. Okay, so now this room. I want to painstakingly check, I guess, the lower part first. Right? Oh, but this is going to be so obnoxious. I think most everything is gonna have some kind of something or other for me to look for. Some kind of clue. I don't know. We're just gonna have fun and see if we find any secrets in here. I'm switching to lurk mode. Too late here and I've been up early for once. Okay, Llama, have a good lurk. Have a good sleep. I appreciate you. Take care, get some good rest, and we'll see you uh, real soon. I guess I should be drilling. Well, actually, this is very helpful that we have this dash now because then I don't have to drill. Because if we dash across everything, it'll show me if there's drillable blocks. So that's good. It's the, the single squares of stuff, like the drone stuff, that always gets me. This is, oh, this is the entrance to Absu? Yeah. Interesting. And there's no, there's no visible uncover. Oh no, there is. There's that one section of Absu where there's like a dip like the bottom of a really long vertical room. We could go we could go check that out real quick and see if we learn something new that'll help us there. The colors are so eye catching, I agree. It's really a beautiful game. Oh, that was weird. I feel like it did a camera tilt for a second. Um, I love all the colors. Oh, but this isn't the entrance that I thought it was gonna be. Wait, so are there two fast travel entrances to Absu? No, the other one is through... Um... Erebu. Do we want to get there this way? No, it's going to be way faster to go the other way. We already got so sidetracked. <gasps> it's fine. Hi, Araka. You came here to meet up with us. Thank you for all your help. I think this should be the quickest way to get there. The layers do make it work because you would never think... I mean, look at this room. They've got the little red bubbles from one area, the green, whatever, seaweed, pink, purple, a bunch of shades of blue. They stuck so many things in there together. You would think it would be too many. The glasses go with the jacket? Oh, I'm glad it's working. Cosplay achieved. Or just a cool new look. Maybe I'll just dress like this from now on. I think this song is... This one's not the intro. Is this, what? Trace Awakens, maybe? I need to start learning the tracks by what area they're in. Trace begins, nice. But then I have all you experts here helping me out. I'm learning bits of it. Oops. Thanks for the posture check, Magus. <laughs> 
Trax awakens as the normal boss theme. Oh, okay, okay. Really good. The boss, both the boss tracks are so good. Um, let's keep moving. This room. I feel like the only thing that's gonna be in here. Oh, wait, that was just sitting here all this time? Okay, we can do this in a bunch more spaces now. So is this gonna allow us? Yep. That's what we needed. I don't I don't think we could have gotten it before without the red jacket. This looks ominous. Oh <gasps> a note! Lore! Transcription. Transcription. Conversation with A3. Oh, are these the, um... They, they call them variants? Who are you? I am Talal. What are you doing here? Udug Hull. What does Udug Hull mean? Unintelligible. Demon. What does it look like? Unintelligible. Is Talal an Udug Hull? No. What is Talal? Unintelligible. What happened to Athedos? I am Athedos. You just said you are Talal? How can you be Athedos if you are Talal? I am Talal. Who do you think I am? Athedos. Why did you attack me? No response. Do you remember attacking me? Talal attack demon. Weird. So that was like a conversation between Trace slash Athedos, the other Trace. And one of the variants. Can I go down here? Is there anything for us to do down there? I feel like there should be. Okay, okay, we got a thing. This is a whole big chunk of the map that we missed. Ooh, shiny! New weapon! Data bomb! This looks like we should be able to go through there. That's important, I feel. Is this something we can use on those creatures that turned into numbers and letters when we glitched them? Do we have an infinite number of these? Okay. Oh yeah, we have to do this. Oops. How do we get out of here? Oh, right. I forgot. <laughs> the bug, the bug has a drill on it. Okay, that was satisfying. Now what? Now do we go back to like... Oh, I remember that one square in Kerr that we couldn't get. Now do we go back to Eden? There's a lot of squares in Eden. I feel like Eden is much bigger than I realized. 
I know that's skipping a whole bunch of sections, but that I that's more enticing to me than retracing all these sections, because that's a lot of what we did the other day. That's like an okay gut instinct to want to go back to Eden, right? Well, how do we get there? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and we gotta look for fuzzy stuff. Were those green things in Eden? Or were they in the, um, the, like, temple area? Oh, I do not remember the name of that area, though. Okay. Um, we can just go back up. We have full health. And that's the same egg that we saved at. Oh, wait, this isn't fast travel. That's okay. It's a pretty quick walk. The East Temple had a long name. Oh, it's, um, Ikur Na, right? It's like part of Kur attached to it, but off to the side of it. I, is it spoilery for me to ask what kind of speedrunning strategies there are? Like, what kind of movements and things people utilize. I'm very curious. But I do just need to watch a speed run. Maybe we can do that at the end of stream. Just watch a quick one. Or a section of one. Oh, I already forgot about my pursuit of secrets here. Gosh darn it. We got distracted so quickly! But this should be Eden, right? Oops, shoot. I know one speedrun technique that helps fill the map and just move faster. Yeah, what is it? I'm curious if you don't mind sharing. Um, I'm guessing this takes us where I need to go. Let's save first. Might have other uses, of course, sure. I don't know that- I don't know, like, if that gives stuff away or... or what. I'm not... I don't- I don't know. At this point, though, I'm just- I want all the knowledge I can get. Oh, maybe there's something in that room. Hang on, Eden Music. We'll be right back. Do we think there's something in here? No, maybe? There we go. I don't think so either, Otefu. I don't think it'll spoil stuff. Because if I'm going to go watch a speedrun, I'm going to see stuff anyway that's like, Ooh, I didn't know you could do that, you know? And it'll only help us find more stuff. Oh, this one! I remember when we got this. My mind was blown that you could just, like, go behind the, the map like that. I don't, I don't remember what we did from here. We did this already. Oops, I always forget that um, I can't look at the map while I'm a drone. Oh, but there's squares over there. We should go that way. After drone teleporting in the air, one can use a burst of the address disruptor and immediately fire another drone. Oh, that's so useful for vertical. For, for filling the map squares, yeah. Not necessarily vertical getting anywhere, but filling the map squares. 
Buddy Bot has no GPS. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but did we come over here and we couldn't get out? No, I don't remember. I feel like we were able to go through this way, right? How else do we get to this room? Through... Erebu? No. Through Ukina. Oh. There's got to be a way through this, right? Nothing? Do we have to go all the way back and all the way around again? Oh, I'm not gonna... Oh. I'm upset if that's the case. Does that mean these two halves of this are completely... No. No, no, no. Okay, we're fine. That was just a little sneak peek because now we just go the normal way. I don't know why I was so upset about that. It's interesting they give us... Ooh. Oh, this room. Wait, hang on. They give us these little caterpillars. Maybe they sometimes show you where the breaks in the wall are. Like that one just did. That's like the crabs in Super Metroid showing you where the secrets are. There's a zombie again coming up here. I remember that time. Oh, so many new things. The wheel of weapons gets ever larger. Oh, I remember this room though. This was not a, a matter of not being able to get enough height. This was a matter of like Uh, there's some blocks in a weird place, but maybe we can do it now. Trace rising. Thank you, Fenris. And now, I think it helps now because I've listened to them all on YouTube and Spotify. I'll be like, oh yeah, Trace rising. I know that one. Whereas before it was hard to remember the titles of things. Okay, that was a little sloppy here. These, so, okay, nice job, Jen. Oh, there's a thing up there. It looks like a pink flower. How do we get that? Let me shoot from here again, just to see it. Oh, it looks like another syringe. Like a pink syringe? Wait, hang on. Can we do that fast enough and grapple? Is there ceiling there to even grapple off of? 
This is weird. Can I grapple off of that? Oops, wrong button. Okay, but I hit it with an egg. Take that. Ruben, how's it going? Thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Happy Friday, Ruben. Uh, we want to do this. No, oh, I wanted to dash there. It didn't take. Oop, that's not going to work. I feel like you have just enough to do that, maybe, after all. I wish I was quick enough with this thing. Oh, I was. Oh, man. But now what? Can I glitch from here? I don't think so. I think I need to be further to the left to do it. What if I diagonal glitch? Oop. That's not it. So, uh, maybe I needed to start swinging and then glitch up from swinging? How did we do this? Hmm. This is not, this is, okay, this is where we live for the moment. There's got to be a better way. What's on the left-hand side? Anything? Not really. Oops. Can we... Oh, we can get map squares this way, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to reread that trick, too. Uh, use the address disruptor and fire another drone. I'm gonna try that. Eden was an important place to go. Oops. Get in these squares. Ooh, we can get that now. We didn't know how to do that before, but I think we can get that. Oh, come on. Oh, that was weird. Easy. Is there anything up here? No? Just the little ledge? Do we want to like grapple all the way over from here? Oh, but the grapple. My grapple skills are not strong. Ooh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's like a shiny, a shiny little reward for doing that. It's not the button I'm trying to press. Y is drone, right? Damn. Oh, it's getting dicey. Okay, we can do this. Yay! 
four of five. Okay. What's up? What's on top of this? Can I stand on this thing? I wish I could keep going up there. Thanks, friends. Thanks yay. for the hype. <laughs> Thanks for the yay. We're doing things. We're trying to. I want to do... Hang on. A map square here. No. Nope. Oops. Oh, well, we got it. Not gracefully, but we got it. Now let's come back to this puzzle at hand. Oh, we should... Uh, no, we don't need to save at that egg. We just need to solve this. Oh. Weird. I think I accidentally pushed to the left instead of the diagonal at the last second. Okay. Oh. Okay. But that was good. That was better height for this. Oh, no, wrong button sequence. Okay, okay. We want to jump, drone, open drone, warp to drone, and then B for grapple. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was the right sequence, but I didn't wait long enough for the height of the egg before opening the drone. I don't know that that's a good spot for that. There's gotta be another way. Can we, is there? Oh, that's right, we tried this. There's no ceiling above us here, it doesn't seem like. We can't shoot it straight across. That's not what we want. Let's try. Practicing the Axiom Disruptor thing. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off. I'm surprised I was even able to do this. Like, how did we ever get the grapple there? This is like, this is a dumb question, but this is a viable way for us to do this, right? I should maybe be coming in from the left and not the bottom. Nope, I did not mean to dash there. Ooh, wrong sequence. That was, that was, that was better. So many things that happen in a row. You know what? I feel like we can... Almost reach it without the drone, but I feel like we tried that already. Like... Oh god.
come on. I just gotta grab that little ledge. Except I don't like having the... Well, no. Having the grapple on the corner would, would be okay. I think it would be alright. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. If I'm gonna grapple, I think it has to be straight up. I don't think it can be at an angle. No, I don't think we can get the height for that. Oh, no. Did you all? do something different. That's a safe enough question, right? Safe word. Did you all do, yes or no only, a different strategy than this? Oof. Oof. That was weird. Okay. I wish this drone had wings. Never got it? Oh my gosh, what? Okay. Were you trying something different or same strategy? Not that that, I mean, oh. I believe, I want to believe so badly. We got onto the thing with the grapple. I don't know if that'll ever happen again. So wait, let me try something. If I'm just grappling, well, hang on. Here. And I go to the right. Yeah, you can go straight up. So if we can get that again, I can go up through the, the floor but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that again. It's too many, it's too many things in a row. And now I keep splatting like on the side of that box cause I'm aiming the egg at a bad spot. So, I don't know where the best spot to throw the egg is. When we, cause when the egg like hits the ceiling there, it, it happens too quickly. And I think we almost bounce down off of it. Nope. Y'all aren't answering my question though. Thank you, Asterid, but I just want to know if it's different than what I'm doing or the same or some or the same. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure there's multiple ways to get it, probably, maybe. It's what you're doing? Okay. Thank you. I hope we can get that grapple again. I was trying what you're doing, just couldn't get the timing. Yeah, it's something. Oops. Ooh. We splatted on the wall. splatted the like egg right on the bottom there and I was able to grapple in time causes mutation at max health what do we get now more scorpion tails Ooh, look at us oh 
that's cool. Boris, thanks for the GG! Oh, oh, now we're not at max health anymore. <laughs> no, Fenris, yes. thank you for the help. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Yes. You, you gave me confidence that we were on the right track. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. That was cool. Grapple strats. We've pra we've been practicing those. Oops. Now I can't get out of here. I'm too excited. All right. I don't know if there's anything else in this room, but we're gonna move on. We're gonna go up to this egg, and then we're gonna look at the map again. Pow, 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 pow. Dang. I'm so proud of this save file. All right. The boss room up top where the wasp was, where Uku, right? Uku, Buku? <laughs> we can go get those squares. I don't know how tall that room is. We're missing a square over to the right and then some more squares in the bottom right. Uku is the wasp boss. Is, isn't that what this room is above, above us? I don't know. We're gonna go check it out. This is all very, very exhilarating. <laughs> boss of this area. I need to learn the boss names better too. I'm sure it comes with time, the more you fight them. And they don't like display them on the screen for you like Hollow Knight makes it all cinematic. They, they break immersion to give you the boss names. Is this something? I don't think so. We already did this. Yeah, 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 I remember this. They show up on speedrun mode. Oh, that's cool. Dang, speedrun mode. So does it have, it does the splits for you? It has like a timer already built in or what changes for speedrun mode, I wonder. Built in timer, that's awesome. Very handy. Oh, these make little pieces of the original. I'm not seeing any glitchy stuff yet for more secret areas. We've only got the one so far. Shows splits, cuts cinematics, nukes dialogue. Nice. Very good. Oh, you. Those little things that make me think of... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> they make me think of owls. They make me think of sneezing. Oh, I remember when we got all the squares in here. That took some deliberate effort. Thanks for the bless. All right, let's see. I guess we can use the egg.
It's just this one extra layer of of squares. I think we tried to do this, but I didn't know how to break out of the egg yet. We learned that later. Also, I could look around if there's like ledges or something. I don't think so. Do the secret rooms count towards your map percentage? That's a safe word question. The room looks so much better without Uku in it. Yeah, it's a cool looking room. Look at that background. Look at the, there's like a grid almost of, I don't know, squares, but then you've got the little star-like dots and then you've got the giant hanging pollen thingies. It works. Secret rooms as in the glitch areas. Yeah, the glitch areas. Oops. Oh, uh, let me do this. They don't count, okay. Okay. That's cool. Can we get over there? No, that looks like the end of the world. It would be cool if it went somewhere. I don't know. Borshi, how's it going? Welcome in. Can we jump? We can jump. I don't think we have wall jump, sadly. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This exit. I like the dash as an attack. I don't do that enough. Um, let's exit. I know it's sad without without wall jump. Still a really good game though. Still a really solid Metroidvania. At least I think so. Can jump but can't crawl. Buddy bot can crawl. Yeah, we basically have more fall, right? With Buddy Bot? This counts, right? You enjoyed this one you played? It's, it's... It got me playing a game after we finished it. You know that I love a game when I'm like, oh, I'm not ready to be done with it yet. Let's see what else there is. That doesn't always happen. If we start talking about speedruns and randomizers, you know that I'm that I'm into it. Although I don't know that I will be oh hang on, running this game, but I wanna watch some runs of the game. Definitely gonna try my hardest to hundred percent. We will see how far I get. Do not like the zombies. Uh, where are we going next? To the right to get the rest of this section of the map, hopefully. Oh, we missed one square in this room above us. Okay, good to know. Oh wait, that's not where I wanted to go. Well, we can save real quick. Having a game grab you is such a good feeling. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we've been doing good picking games. It's been happening a lot lately. That's it's it feels nice to know like what I'm probably gonna really like ahead of time. And when you all recommend them too, it's like, all right, we get each other. <laughs> it's better than most Metroids. The unresolved ending may prevent it from being the best, but it's still awesome. Emphasis on May. Oh, I remember these. These caterpillars of despair. Oh, this room. That's why we never came back here. Alright. 
Well, hopefully it's worth it. I mean, it is. We gotta do it for the squares. For the squares! Feel the wrath of Kilver! Alright, cool. Oops. I just wish the difficulty scaling were a little smoother. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we've not played on difficult mode yet. Or you just mean, like, when you start at the beginning of the game as you progress through it. Uku's quite the spike. Yeah. Thanks, Borshi. We we did a bit of a cosplay. We tried. We had the lab coat earlier, and now the the trench coat. I don't own a red trench coat, sadly. I wish I did. Cool, we got the square. Wait, hang on. After a certain point, each new area feels much harder than the ones before. What felt... What was the worst curve for me? I feel like... I feel like the beginning was super slow. I really, really struggled early on. I feel like there's something here that we never got. Um, yeah, Uku was really hard. It took me forever to get used to the knockback. And, uh... The ending area, I was just completely panic mashing buttons. I don't know if there were secrets up there or not. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff because the pace was like, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, and it felt like... Oh, I glitched that caterpillar. I was like, what is that noise? The caterpillar is destroying blocks somewhere. Oh, wait. Hang on. What blocks are you destroying? Oh, right there. We know that there's, oh God. We know that there's a save above us. We've been up there. Yeah. But there's something here. Oh! <laughs> the noises when I'm like, ooh, a new shiny thing. <gasps> Translation! Oh my gosh, and we're just talking about how unsatisfying it was to not translate and we found Reveal v v Vikaya. Yes! Da 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 da! That's where you get that one. Yes! I'm so glad! I think the final area would have been easier if it was started at the beginning of stream. True! Yeah, we were, like, experiencing hand fatigue, controller fatigue, brain fatigue. <laughs> but we did it! We did get a Thedos first try. Cool. We can read these now? Oh, this is gonna be cool. My lovely, I have a new dream for you. I think you will like this one. It starts with your death and goes on from there. Return to my embrace. I've missed killing you. What? The outsider. I'm so tired of her schemes. If not for her, we wouldn't even be in this predicament, and now this ridiculous plan. Aside from Drishka's obvious interest in her, we have no indication she is even telling the truth. We don't know where she's from, or even what 
strange she is. She seems to have greater capabilities than she admits. Should I have let you kill her when I had the chance? I do not know what is right anymore. Plan B. I realize I failed in our primary objective, but please hear me out. I didn't just kill Ketrahaska's body. I used the Gatebreaker. We have a fresh set of nanogates to do with whatever we please. Given what we recently learned about the Sojourn Rebirth Chamber, we could use this to our advantage. In fact, it may be better than my original plan. We could control him. Oh. Weird. Eshinima, you barely under- Oh, we've read this one. Yeah. Drones. Athedos has disabled our drones. This one is operating on battery power. My own blood is failing me. If you want to go forward with Ophelia's plan, now is the time. I say, why not? We may die regardless, but this way is a bit more interesting. Kachahaska got to him before I had a chance. He is here, and he released some kind of plague. I tried to stop him, but failed. He thinks I am dead. He's holed up at the breach attractor now. We can't let him escape. So the green one's the v v v Vikaya that we just translated is the Rusalki talking to each other. I don't recognize Katrahaska's name or Drushka's name. We don't know them. Journal page. English, Sojourn Translation, The Breach, From the High Priestess, Civilized Kings, Official Letter, Micaiah, Transcription, Faded Note, Trace, Letter. Okay. Well, they told us Katrahashka was dead, but aside from that, we haven't seen or heard her name before, right? Their name? Should have let you kill her when I had the chance. I don't know what is right anymore. And I don't know who's writing these. Is this Trace writing these? We have on the way to the drone spawner. Oh man, I don't remember that. Oh, the the boss that we didn't have to fight. It's a variant. It's not a Rusalki. Weird. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that part again. One of the variants I thought was like, I thought was us and we struggled to kill it. I got some theories, but I don't know if they're right. Oh my gosh. We, I'm, oh, I'm so satisfied we found the translator because I feel like now I can not that it gives us a ton more answers, but now I feel like I can try to piece things together and that was such a crucial item that we didn't get. Okay. Let's keep moving while we talk about this. I'd be curious to hear your theories. I'd be curious to hear everybody's theories when they were at this point and if they changed and how they changed the more they played the game because i'm wondering okay but the other thing is i'm i'm thinking there's gonna be this like oh is oh these are the bodies that's right um that there's gonna be all these answers, but there's really not. We've talked about that, like it's a great game, but there's some stuff missing. Or people felt like the, the ending was inconclusive and some of it was on purpose. Like we did talk about that a little bit. Hmm. I feel like... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to grapple. What? 
we can get in here. Can I go up again? Look, we're in a little cage. We broke into jail. I wish I could go up. There's like one block of a room up there. Oh, there's a lot of jails in this room. Do any of them have items in them? Free trace. Didn't finish everything, so I can't comment on the quality, but yeah, others did say that Hap left stuff over for AV2. Gotcha. The bird cage, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another one up there. Oh, but I didn't do the... Okay, what if we do this? Oh, not the same. These are cute. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It'll just be a balance of what I'm willing to spoil and what I'm gonna try to find out on my own. Hollow Knight was the same way. Um, I think... Uh, it ended up being that well there's still a bunch I haven't seen but I think someday I'm gonna just watch somebody do the pantheons cause I'm not gonna get there and then I'll never see the lore that has to do with the pantheons um you know which is a bummer to not get it myself but like there's parts of that story that I've put off for so long and I don't know how much there is like I don't think it's a ton of lore from the Pantheons. I think you get a different ending. Um, but that might be it, I'm not sure. Okay, so can we do squares from here? Yeah. But I think I remember this room. There wasn't anything to stand on over here. I think we'll be okay, though. We've got a ledge there. Oops. Are the print tablet she's on there? Aspirin with the A and the S scraped off. I haven't seen that movie in a really long time, Magus. I wouldn't know any lines from it, but it is a good one. The ledge seems to be there to help get the square. Yeah, what? I, I don't know if there's something else up there. Kind of suspicious. Um, I was gonna try... Oh, no, I think that's it. I think that's all I was going to try. This room has that one square in it that there's a bunch of blocks that we couldn't figure out how to break into. And this has the four pink gates. Okay, so now we're missing items that can probably help us get some of the stuff we didn't do. Oh, let's get this one square in Z, maybe? And one square in Kerr. Oh, the struggle.
Z is the one with all the steam vents, right? Yeah, but we can get to that room pretty quickly from the fast travel room. Um... I want to look at Kerr. I think we want to go to the right and then just down and back into fast travel. Is what I'm thinking is going to happen. Yep. We've done this many times. We're going to go to Z and then we'll come back to Kerr. We should find an egg. And I said I was going to do secrets in here. I need to. There's got to be some cool ones in that room, right? Right? <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Exactly. This game really hooks you in. Hollow Knight would a thousand percent put a secret in that room. Because you go through it so fast. And they think, oh, you'll skip it. It's like if they put a secret in the... While you were on the stag beetle. If they could, they would. Egg. I'm not gonna save it that one. Save points are starting to make me wish I still had my Dreamcast. Egg elemental gimmick gear was fun. That's a game? Heck yeah. If only. Oh, this dang room. Can we just do that now? No. Uh, oh yeah. We can get this room. There's a power up there. Power up up there. Sneaky. I never tried this. It took me so long to figure out how to break out of the egg that I had I had written it off as not a strategy to 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 get up on top of things, but it's like the strategy to get up on top of things. I misunderstood how it worked for so long. That's okay. Is this where we got trench coat? We just wanted that one square here, right? And now we can leave. I'm guessing there can't be any of the glitch rooms in a boss room or a save room, if I had to guess. Could it be on the wall, like, here? I wonder. I don't know. Let's check in here. No, I feel like I remember there being one in an area near a pink gate, and I thought that the pink gate was what was making my screen go glitchy. Oops, all right. It's here. There it is, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm glad we investigated. Dang.
It's so satisfying. Yes, we, we got another one. That's two in one stream. Dun, 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 dun. Who was I just talking to about Metroidvanias? Maybe it was on our. Maybe it was here. Maybe it was on stream. I feel like it was someone else, like casually, a fellow Metroidvania enthusiast, and we were like, they're just so dang satisfying when you find stuff. You're like, oh my gosh, I did it! Exploration wins. Oh, hello. Rude. Let's go this way first. Oh, lots of vents. I do not like the steam vents. Okay, hang on. Let's get something long distance for once. Oh, so glitchy. Maybe this will make a loop. I'm sad we didn't find any of these before the end of the game. That's okay though. I feel like there should be something on top of that. close to finding this one earlier. Could you tell that it you you could see it then and I couldn't. I didn't know that the screen changed like that until today. And that one so we've seen like little spots where um actually we should go back to that other room then where like the background gives out and you know to use the disruptor that in that spot. But I had never used it and then found, like, a gate like that. There's too much excitement in Z for this song. Vital Tide is probably the most relaxing ones in the game. Yeah, this is much more peaceful track compared to some of the super hype ones. So much health! Yes! Look at that health bar. Vital Tide Piano. Ooh, I should try to find the sheet music for that. Add it to our music stream. If we get there. Da -da -da -da. Oops. Okay, now we go up. That's it and even, wait, do we always have our scorpion tails in the glitched area? Cause we're not at full health, but it's still showing in the animation. That's kind of cool. Look at us go. Those are gonna be glitchy spots. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh. You're an enemy. What is that? Oh, I could see the zombie and I didn't even know what I was looking at. You can see one over there. I've never been able to see them like that before. 
interesting. Wall hacks, yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, is there anything up here other than enemies? You can see oh that's so cool you can see these before you get close enough to fight them These rooms look is so wild. Is there anything up here? Then they look like it's got the design. Maybe it's just a precursor to something in the next room. We did it. Another one down. We were doing, we were going back to the fast travel room. Oops, I have the wrong. I don't have equipped what I thought I had equipped. Should we do the fast travel room instead of that one square in Kerr? I think so. I wanna explore the fast travel room. And then, uh, and then we might wrap up for the day. It's been a good day. It feels like nothing hurts us. Gosh. We've grown too powerful. All right, see ya. Oh. Okay, that one's... <laughs> we got a little stuck for a second. Um... We can... We, we're gonna go out here. We can use the egg... the egg up here. So we had started on the left-hand side of this room along the floor. We ended up going down into Absu, right? We didn't get very far at all if that was the strategy we wanted to use. What I kind of want to do though is try some of the stuff. I saw a spot on the ceiling I wanted to try here. Not this, this one. Oops. Oh. Oh, I forgot about glitching. Ugh, hang on. We're a mess. I forgot about glitching those enemies. I need to do that. Oh, interesting. You can't ride on this thing as a... a drone. Oh, 
Oh no. But you only get like one shot. Anything? So do we just like continuously try to glitch the ceiling as we go across? Maybe there isn't anything up there. I don't know. Alright, so maybe we'll just start from this side since we're over here. I feel like something- oh these make a very unpleasant noise. And these keep making noises as they give health. Interesting. One of these has like an enemy inside of it. Here it is. We found it. It's this one. Is there a secret down here? There was that one time. I don't know that we're gonna find anything. It's a really big room. Also, I want that noise to stop. Does it stop if we come out and go back in? No, it does not stop. Well. We learned the hard way. This always looked really suspicious. Oops. Okay, well, rip. Like there should be something between those two, you know what I mean? Or that we should drill here or something? No? God, that noise is so horrible. I'm never glitching one of those enemies again. I... I don't know. This is completely fruitless. But at least we can say we did it. And then maybe we'll end with that last square in Kerr, because I think... Um... We're almost done with this. Oh, I think there's a cat at the door. <laughs> there is a cat at the door. Do y'all want to say hi to a cat? <laughs> I think, did we do this part? We did this part and then we went down into Abzu. I think we did all this first section of the floor. 
It's, it's not very rewarding here, but we're very thorough. All right, friends. Let's ha let's say a quick hi to BB. I'll even go. I'll even go to. Oh no, we're not ending. I'll go to chatting cam for you. Kitty percent, yeah. Uh, I want to know what our percentage is at. We've been making such good progress. Come here, BB. Come say hi. Yeah. Say hi to chat. Of course, now we don't have any music because we're in that section of the map. Please don't scratch this jacket, though. She says hi. She's meowing at the door, craving all the attention, as she should. Hey, speaking of cats. Hi, cat. Welcome in. How's it going? Oh, that was good. Scritch, 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 scritch. Your adoring fan, say hello. Do, 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 do. Trying to fix your sleep schedule. Oh, good luck. The struggle is real. I know the feeling. It's such a pain. The little socks. <laughs> All right, thank you, BB. Free cat cameo today. I'll be right back. <laughs> Had to do a quick, she was a quick cameo. She was demanding attention. Let's go back to this. And this, and I want some music back. Kitten mittens. Do we? Oh, I think if we exit and then come back, Oraka's waiting for us. I think the the lower level. Oh, they're not waiting for us. Maybe if we save. The lower level's easier for me to clear and kind of get a feel of if there's there's secrets down there. I think the upper level is going to take a lot longer, so I'm maybe going to save that. Uh, and for now, we'll just do Kerr and get the rest of the map squares. The one map square. And then I want to know where we're at. I want to know what kind of progress we made. We found how many? Like two notes? Three notes? We found... The syringe we found, um, a, a bunch of health nodes, power nodes, range nodes, but then the ones, the power nodes and range nodes in the, the glitched areas, those don't count, those probably don't count for your overall percent either, now that I think of it. I want to go back to Eco or Na just to get that music again. Occlusion and Occlusion Lens are still my two favorite tracks of the game. Followed very closely by the boss tracks, which we won't hear today because we're just chilling doing secret hunting. But I wish we were going to hear them. Oh, Eker Ma. I've been calling it Eker Na. Close, but not quite. Da, 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 da. Oh, pff. <laughs> good job, Jen. We haven't heard the Kerr music in a while either. Here we go. Also very catchy. Not my favorite track, but it's very striking. Obviously get stuck in my head sometimes. The N and M are right next to each other. It's true. It's very true. Uh, where are we headed? Up to the top. The very tippy top. Hmm? No! 
getting too excited with the the boost there. Nope, wrong buttons. Gosh darn it. Why do I keep using the drone? Inexorable for lower cur, cellular skies for upper. Yep, yep, yep. I think inexorable I learned today. I was like consciously looking at the track names when that one came up. Cellular Skies is a cool name for a song. I remember when we first made it to Lower Kerr. One of you was saying like, oh, we're gonna get really comfy with this music. We're gonna be here for a while. Was that just because that area, like you end up coming back there a lot? Oh, I didn't know you could cross that gap. Wait, did we ever try this? There's a room over there waiting to be explored. No! Ugh. And this is where we got the... This is around the same time, rather, that we got the drone upgrade. And I started having to relearn the range of how far the drone thing shoots. Okay, uh, we want to go over here. Nope, just leave us alone, thank you. secret up here? I don't know. This should be pretty quick to get this one. Is there another spot in Kerr that we haven't seen yet? I think this is the last square for now. Not quite, not quite. Oh, how do we get that then? Is there a ledge over here? Yeah. Is this the one where we have to do that trick with the disruptor maybe? Or we just gotta... Oh, wait. Not far enough. Okay. Yay! We got it! Map dance. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a big deal. Okay, let's go listen to Occlusion. Mm, car's taking me away on Wi-Fi range. Oh, Otefu, take care. Thank you for all the hype and the, I don't know, fellow love of Axiom Verge and Metroidvanias. It's always good having you here. Thank you, thank you. Also, safe. Oh, my cat? My car? Why did I read that as car? 
Have a good night. <laughs> I was like, safe travels. <laughs> I don't think you're driving. Okay, this is occlusion. Probably my second favorite track. I feel like you can't fully appreciate occlusion lens, occlusion lens unless you've he heard occlusion and how it transitions into occlusion lens. So good. Is there anything in here that we need? Oh, there is. Oh, yeah, that one square. We can go check it out. Um, I think we just want to go straight to the right. It should be open now. We don't want to go up, right? Yeah, because this will be open now. Okay, that was occlusion. <laughs> Can't hype this song enough. Ooh, but we're gonna die. Nope. No, we're not. What can I use? Should we try these bombs? We haven't used them on anything yet. The hat base drop is so good. I don't know. I think it's personal preference too. Like for whatever reason, this song just hits really hard for me. <laughs> are these good? I don't know that these are any better than Kilver strats. this too. Oh, but the reason I don't like the lightning rod for something like that is you have to stay facing one direction while you're using it. This is a different looking egg room. Hmm. I put a marker here. Why did I put a marker here? Oh, because we can't erase the markers after we get the item. I feel like there's something over here, too. Like, below us? But I remember trying the drone in here a bunch, so we'll leave it for now. Oh, hi. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> Do we think there's secrets in there? Maybe. Probably. I feel like I remember that room too though, being like, oh it's fine, there's an egg nearby, so we'll we'll battle these so that we can kill everything and get the secret if there is one. And then, how, what does this connect to? The top of Kerr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think we're gonna see those hidden, those like camouflage bush enemies. Yeah. Is there a reason why these have letters when they're glitched? That's a safe word question. Is there a reason behind it? Because I just thought this was like a huge deal when it saw, when we saw it for the first time. There is? Okay, thank you. They're giving us new... That one had a U. E T E N Z U I. Oh, we were close to the end of the word. I wrote it down somewhere. I S K A R T E H N Z U. Just U. S K A. R T E H A N Z U and then it starts over. Iscart N Zu Twelve, not eleven. Hmm. Thought we were on to something there. Oh, there was an extra A in there. Wait, 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 wait. I think I missed something. H A N Z U? Was that? Okay. <laughs> This card a Hanzu. If this does something, it made a noise. It doesn't want me to activate it though. I didn't like it. What happens if you just put like gibberish in there? Oh, interesting. It doesn't do that. It just says, yeah, you can put whatever you want. So this means something. Oh, and then we're about to get this annoying s square. D uh. Was there always a thing in there? You can see some pink thing, right? We're doing important stuff. Oh shoot, I remember. Now we're stuck down here. Leave me alone, I have stuff to do! I guess I don't have to kill those. Oh, but I 
No, just, just do this. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, fine. No, move. Was this not open before? Oh god, Jen, don't blow it. Quantum Variegator randomly adjusts its flight vector for more coverage. That was so cool. So are those bush enemies only in this room? Safe word. I don't think we've seen them any other place. Is this good? Is this cool? I feel cool for having found it. Just here? That's awesome. And I was counting these dang letters. I'm like, oh man, that's gotta be this answer. Of course we missed them. We didn't have to hit them with the data bomb, did we? That was just me like choosing to use a different weapon on them. I feel like so much just happened, okay. Oh, this reminds me of the weapon that, um... Okay, they're mad that I took their weapon. This reminds me of the thing that the... Zeter hole has. I never want to leave this area. This is where we live now. Is that name, is that someone's name? Someone just made up that code for that weapon? Why is that so important? It feels important. It may not be important at all. I kind of want to, I wanted to get some health, but I, I want to go back to the bottom of that room and just see if we get any fuzzies. Keeping you, you solved the puzzle for us. Oops. Okay, what's in this area though? I feel like the enemies here are really gnarly. Oh, this isn't so bad. It is when we forget to dash. Anything else in this hallway? I don't know. Fuzzies? Any fuzzies? Anybody feeling fuzzy in here? This is where we got the red coat. That's why we can traverse through here now. So not seeing any fuzzies. At least not at the moment.
Such a cool ability. Oops. Anything over here? No. Okay, see ya. Um, it's gonna be a pain running back up through here, but I think that's where we're gonna end it today. We just gotta get back to the egg. Oh, I guess we could just die. That'll take us back to the egg, huh? They put so many of those here to give you like, I don't know, all these opportunities to, um, oh shit. Oh, hang on, We're, we are gonna die to this thing. To try to get that password. Do they give different passwords? Oh no, what if they give different passwords? I thought we tried it though and we got the same thing. Death, it's not a penalty, it's a warp. True. Find the egg to exit. Thank you, yes, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh no. Stop. Alright, we can death warp. Of course, now I killed all those. Okay, here, this one, this will take care of us. Oh, I should have stayed a drone. Here. That's gonna kill the drone, not us, though. Health, beep, bop. <laughs> Okay, see, look, that's what we wanted, was to save at the egg. Let's see, let's see how our totals look after today. Um, back to title. Save again, sure. I forgot you can just save wherever you are, and it, it I think it just sends you back to the egg when you start again, right? Ba, 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 da. We made good progress. 82% of items, 95% of map. We're at 22 hours now, 23. Dang. And, but that's but that's without the 2% that you get from the ending. So 97 on completion. So we're missing What part? What one were we gonna go back to? Oh, Erebu. Interesting. So do we still have a mobility item of some kind? I feel like that's such a horribly vague, terrible question, but I'll make it a safe word question. Wait, where? We're at the point we can we can dig a little bit deeper. Um because I feel like there's something with the pink lasers. You have every mobility item. Okay. Maybe there's maybe there's like a plot event that triggers that door opening. Maybe it's something else I'm just not realizing. Oh, that one we could get though. What was the one we couldn't get yet that we were gonna have to come back? Something near the water. There were like puddles of water. It was a new part of the map that we couldn't do yet. Can we go back there now? Now that we have all of our scorpion tails?
I don't know. I'm going to continue listening to this music all the time. 